today I have my very first Jeffree Star mystery box. I have never done one of these just because I'm like, oh, I don't know what's going to be in there. I don't know if I'll be happy with it. And a lot of times I'm like, you know what? I'd rather just pay the money for exactly what I want, to be honest with you guys. Sorry if I look a little bit less made up than usual. I was out at the Disney parks, if you can't tell by all the Disney paraphernalia that I have on. Um, but yeah, but I saw that I, this was in the mail and I was like, gotta film it. I'm so excited, like, because I want to, you guys to see my actual impression of it. And so, and I couldn't hold it anymore. Like I really wanted to open it. So this is what the box looks like. I got the medium one. There was like a mini, a premium, which is the middle, and then a deluxe, which was the big daddy. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into this. I know that there isn't any clothes in here because of the fact that, um, you know, it didn't ask me for a size or anything like that. And I don't remember how much this was. I wanna say $60. I'll put it around here somewhere. But I'm pretty sure it's $60. So, oh, so we have the controversial stickers that people have been talking about. I think that they're super cute. You know, I don't have anything against them. I actually put stickers on my little, um, like I have a Juno & Co one that I got recently and I put it on here. So I'll probably put the other ones that he sent around there too. But they're super cute, like little tattoos. Um, very adorable. I don't have any issues with these stickers. I know like sometimes he's put like pop-ups or stuff like that. So the first thing that I see in here is oh, a skin frost. I have yet to try any of his skin frost and this is in um, so effing gold. So uh, that's what it says right there. And these are huge, holy crap. Like look how big it is against my face. Oh my God, these are huge. Look at that. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm just playing, but it, that is the gold. It's like a dark gold. So I'm just going to swatchy swatch it. Wow. That is something that I will use. Um, I probably use it as an eyeshadow and just like lightly as a highlight. Let's go ahead and test this baby out. Um, I don't really have a lot of makeup on, so this might look, whoa, throwing shit. Ugh. Okay. Let's take two. <laughs> So let's go ahead and um, try this out a little bit and see what it looks like on the skin. Hopefully it will pick up. So yeah, it looks like a, a pretty gold for my skin tone. If I just use it lightly, it'll look nice. It, it's like a perfect gold for my complexion. So not mad at it, not mad at it. It's something that I will use. I'm always scared I'm gonna get like a blue one or a green one or, you know, cause he has so many extraordinary colors. So I'm always scared, but this one is right up my alley. So next thing in here is just tissue paper. <laughs> I thought that there was something in there. Okay, so next thing in here is this bad boy right here, and it is nicely wrapped. I always love that he has tissue paper. Tissue paper makes me happy. And I see two liquid lipsticks in here as well. So let's just open up this big daddy here. And I haven't been like looking at any sneak peeks because, oh my God! It's the Blue Blood Palette. Holy mole. Oh my God. Look at this. Oh, that like, this is bulky. <laughs> but I have to give it to him. His presentation on palettes is like, boom. you know, it's literally like a little coffin and wow, those are the shades. I have to say when he first launched this, I didn't gravitate to it because I'm not into blues that often so i was like i don't know if i'm really gonna use that you know um so i think this might be a fun palette i will definitely dive into it see how i like it i really like the fact that all of them have those little stamps on them so every single one has a little stamp and something cute uh the packaging is super bulky but it is like kind of like bougie and different so i think that that's super cute Wow, I can't believe that he included this bad boy in here. So I'm not sure if other people are getting other palettes or everyone's getting a blue blood, but I do really um, like it. Like I said, I'm not drawn to blue, so this will definitely take me out of my comfort zone to start playing with them. So we will see how much use I can get out of this. And then the two liquid lipsticks that I got 
is the little question mark. It's just like a little Christmas sock and it has a little question mark on it. So I'm thinking that this is like the mystery shade that he said, like the exclusive shade. And then I have purple, purple Urkel. So I'm gonna start out with this one, the mystery shade. Oh, that is pretty. It's like literally like the Wizard of Oz Dorothy's uh, sandals. It's like a red with glitter. And this one doesn't have like the root beer smell. So that's what it looks like. That is super pretty, especially for holiday. That is gorgeous. So I know that I will definitely use this for like special occasions and things like that. And I love his formula. I've never tried this one, like the metallic one. So we'll definitely see if I like that. And then this purple Urkel is like, oh, I don't know if, I don't know if I will truly use this. So this is what it looks like. It's a, it's purple. All right. <laughs> So uh, I don't know if I will definitely use this. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I definitely have to maybe use a lip liner or something to tone it down because I don't know against my skin tone if this is going to look right. So that is that. And I think that that's it. That's all that's in my box, right? Yeah. So I will put the total value here. I'll try to calculate it or put it around here. So you guys know, I think I paid $60 for this, but I have to say, um, it's fun. It's just like something fun as far as like these mystery boxes, because it's kind of like a little Christmas, you know, like a little mini Christmas, something you don't know what you're going to get. Um, so I thought that this was really fun. I have to say the anxiety and the excitement that I'm just waiting to open it. That's why I was like, I'm going to film even if I'm not like all done up. Uh, but yeah, holy crap. I really like the fact that he included like a full palette, like one of his like bougie palettes because some of the other ones are just like those flat palettes. So I like the fact that he included one of the bougie ones. Um, I do own the blood one, the blood sugar, and I own... Uh, the mini breaker. So this one will definitely be added to my Jeffree Star collection and I will keep you guys posted if I really do get some use out of all these blues in here. So let me know what you guys thought of the box. What do you think of the things that I got? Do you think it's worth it? Not worth it? The value? I like the fact that a lot of the things in my box are things that I can get some use out of. Even the palette itself, it does have some neutrals in there, so I think I could get some use out of it. This shade, um, this one would be the only shade that I would think that's like a little uh, out of my comfort zone, but the highlight is something that I know that I will use, and the stickers are just, they're just fun. So yeah, so let me know your thoughts below. Thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, definitely hit that little red button. Subscribe, follow, like this video if you like it, dislike it if you don't. And yeah, you can follow me on Instagram down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.